Hey guys, Lemon Sunshine here, and I have made a new and improved version of my automatic smelter, and I shall show you how to make it. So, first I'll show you what it does, in case you didn't see the old version. You put iron and coal in, or whatever smelting thing you want, and then it shall go through and smelt it. And then it should pop. It will pop it up into this chest up here. So I shall show you how to make this now. What you're gonna want is first two trap chests and an area to build this. I shall put it over here. I will build it up in the air so you guys can see this better. So I'm going to ah. I want it here. And it shall be where it is. So that's that and then what you want to do is under this put a hopper like that and the hopper pointing away like that now I think we should run the rails first so we know how much room we have to work with so grab a couple of rails also grab your furnaces and what we're gonna do is Powered rail, uh, non-powered rail. We're also going to want to come down here, and let's line up our furnaces. I'm going to put four this time. You can customizably put how many you want. Don't. I suggest not going over eight, because then it starts to get your coal starts to be wasted. You're going to want to put a rail over this. Give it a block. And then we have a powered rail that and power this powered rail on this side. Then the last or then we need a uh, collection rail or once it's done. And we have bam, just hoppers across the bottom, pointing away. And that shall go into a powered rail that's facing away from it we also need rails facing towards the furnaces like this and this is just going to be essentially the same thing up here just kind of turn it on its side you're going to power this the la the powered rail on this side bring it out to again powered rail non-powered rail this one you don't power there's going to end up being a hopper on this side, most likely. And then this hopper will come up to another rail system, which is going to be powered rail here, which shouldn't connect. <sighs> it's annoying. Why are you connecting? Pretty much a rail here powered rail like that Let's fix stop it let's go like that there we go so that's how you fix that if you're having that problem then um another power rail here but this one will should be on a hopper like this then we have a powered rail so this is the coal collection puts the coal into the furnaces this is the ore collection Oh, this is my problem. I put this over one more. Powered rail should be there. Like that. That should work. Except this needs to be... All these furnaces need to be over one. Ah. Dang it. Yeah, sorry. But that will be fixed. Quite easily, actually. Just push it over a couple add that there and that there <clears throat> sorry about this guys so make sure this end one goes into there just as a heads up you know what I'll just do it with three just for an example just so we don't have to move it around 
because it will work with any number of uh, furnaces. Just the more you have, the more efficient it will be. But the less you have, the less space it will consume or take up, not consume. But now the last rail we have to run is the one that is the return. It's the return um, rail. So let's bring this up a little bit. Just got to come out one and then went too far. Yeah, that should work. Let's move it up a bit. And then it's going to want to land on a hopper. Have a block there. This hopper will go into a chest, which we should grab. The chest will be right here. So we got to actually change the configuration of the hopper real quick. It's got to go like that. And here we go. You want to cover this up probably, unless your base is kind of based around this. This also needs to be run into it at an angle, just uh, FYI. By an angle, I mean uh, it's got to come around. Grab some hoppers, it goes up, comes up and hits it like that. Then we shall run this all the way down, add a couple of powered rails so the minecart can make it make its way up. Oh, got to extend this out a bit. There we go. Let's add a couple more power rails and we should be good to go on the rails. So first thing we should set up is this part because this part's pretty simple. You're just going to want to go like that. Comparator facing away from the hopper into the redstone torch onto this redstone dust, which will make the default of this uh, rail on. So the cart that runs back and forth won't stop on it unless the hopper gets an item and then it would stop and start unloading. This, this hopper or this uh, cart gets its item, items down here. And what it does is once this will be in a default on state like the other one, except and again, once there's items, it would turn off. So this this is a pretty close to the same thing. You're going to want a torch comparator running into a block that has a torch runs around and into the rail. So then once there's an item in it, it'll turn the rail off. And that's the same thing for up here. So that'll down here it'll stop it so it can load up. Up there it'll stop it so it can unload. So you're probably wondering what happens at the beginning now, and why does this have to be a trap chest? The reason it's a trap chest is the wall will be here, by the way, is to allow a um, is so these hoppers won't start taking it at the beginning. It also will send a pulse to say that it has been opened which will go under here. Oh, I probably broke a rail. Yeah. This end rail might need to reconfiguring, but I'll try to work around it. This so once the trap chest is open, it'll send the uh redstone signal out there. Let's just wire up all this end part first before cuz that part's uh, a lot of redstone. We want to make sure it all fits. This will run. This is the same thing again. It runs into a torch, which will be. I can actually put the torch down here. It's probably a better idea. Put the torch here. It will run into a repeater. And it will go down. And. There we go. So it'll power this, and then it'll turn this torch off, which will turn this off so it can load up the coal. And that is a lot of the smaller stuff, so now it's time for the 
larger things. Let's start with this. This one will suck in coal. So grab some coal. You're going to need to fill it up and put 17 in this front one here. Like that. In the first slot. And then you put a comparator facing that direction. Connect it to one redstone dust. Another one. And then you're going to want to branch this. Have a repeater there, repeater there. Going to put a block by that, by this other hopper. And run the redstone signal from the second repeater to that block. And have a, another repeater right there. So what this does is when this is at 2, it'll stop this one from sucking anything. So if uh, you put a piece of coal in, if you put some coal in, it won't suck the coal out and put it into the wrong so slot of the furnace. This will also, when this gets powered, it turns on this. Let's actually grab the minecarts real quick so you can see what's going to be happening. Minecart with chest. It will turn... It'll shoot that card off, which will then stop at the other point. It will stop at that spot and load up on the coal, and once it's done, it'll shoot it back here. So to do that, we add a repeater there and run this redstone signal into a torch. that will invert the torch and make that part turn off. So that's that. And now what we need to add is we have to add some stuff over here. <laughs> this does not work. Of course not. You're going to need boost here. There we go. Now over here, what we need to do is do a redstone comparator here that runs into redstone dust to a torch that goes down like that and then it'll shoot the cart off so when there's something in this it'll stop the cart and it'll load up but we can't have it loading up the coal if you put the coal in first so what you need is two repeaters here that'll run out a little bit ha ah, this is this end rail you should probably do last actually this part is good up here, but get rid of all of this, or just don't build it in the first place like I did. And then what you're going to need to do is when this gets triggered, it's going to turn off a torch, but it's also going to turn switch an RS snore latch. So put it like that, and then this is going to be the artist snore latch here, this torch here. So run it into a torch here, and then this torch, what it's going to do is turn the hopper off, kind of. So make it so it won't receive items. So you're going to run it like that, but then you also need it to run like this. You're going to want to block that off there and put a repeater facing oh, out of room here. So don't connect it there. Because you need a repeater oh, right here. The repeater there. And now it should be good. Now it's an arsenal latch. So last thing we need to add over here is a little pulse thing, pulse generator. So when this turns off, what you're going to want to do is grab a piston, throw the piston facing this way, and run the signal up to here, just like this. Set it to 4. And then what it needs to do is come out quite a bit, put four repeaters, set to four. You could probably make that a lot less, but 
Mm, whatever. Doesn't affect me. And it's better to be safe than sorry. We can actually delete that there. <laughs> and now, this should work except for this end rail. So let's run that up. It needs to go out one more. Then, oh, just got a bit of lag. And then we bring this right there. Run it. We're going to add some more powered rails. Uh, one here and here, I guess. There we go. Let's put a couple here. And it should work now. Let's test it out. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Uh, just throw in a random number. So we should get 38 iron at the end of this. As you can see, it's loading up here. No coal came in. Or shouldn't have. Let's check the furnaces. Yep, it's all good. So this is loading up. It's about to be done. There we go. Now it's unloading the coal. Which you can see. And it's coming down here, loading up here. And then the iron's going to be loading in here. And it should shoot off here when it's done and start loading up these furnaces. Uh, we actually, for, we need one more card. There we go. So now all these furnaces are turning on. As you can see, they all have coal, except this one for some strange reason. Mmm, mmm, that's weird. Should be getting coal. Maybe if we just back it up. There we go. Yeah, just back this up one more, and then that should be... That'll fix your problem, if you're having that. And now it should be set, starting to send up some iron. As you see, and it works. So yeah, just make sure to bring this out, too. Just so it can drop off items there. Yep. So that's how you can build your very own automatic smelter in Minecraft. Thanks for watching, and subscribe.